Thank you for purchasing the Janome computerized sewing machine. Your new Janome machine integrates such advanced features as an automatic thread cutter, a worldwide auto voltage power system, a two-way speed control, monogram sewing, ultra slow sewing with the start stop button, and much more in a compact body. We're sure you'll be glad you chose the Janome machine and that it will give you many years of satisfaction. Basic Operation Accessories and Storage The extension table provides an additional space for handling bulky materials and also serves as an accessory storage box. The extension table can be easily detached for free arm sewing. Pull the extension table to the left and remove it. To attach the table, slide it from the left and push to snap it. For quilters and heavy sewers, an extra wide table is also available. When other patterns are selected, the machine will sew to the end of the pattern being sewn, then lock the stitch and stop automatically. Needle up-down button. The machine will always stop with the needle down, except when buttonholes, darning, eyelet, or monograms are selected. To raise the needle, press the needle up-down button once. Thread cutter button. Speed control slider. The speed control slider sets the maximum sewing speed. Shift the slider to the right to increase the speed. To decrease the speed, shift it to the left. Turn off the power switch and raise the presser foot. Slide the hook cover release button to the right, and the hook cover will pop up to open. Remove the hook cover. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder so that the thread unwinds counterclockwise. Draw out the thread and slip it into the notch on the front. Gently pull the thread to the left between the tension spring blades until the thread slips into the notch on the side. Draw the free end of the thread to the back, leaving a 6-inch tail. Reattach the hook cover plate. For your convenience, the threading diagram is indicated on the hook cover plate. Threading the machine. Raise the thread take-up lever to the highest position and raise the presser foot. Place a spool of thread on the spool pin and fix it firmly in place with the spool holder. Each threading point is clearly marked with a number indicating its order in the threading sequence. Hold the thread with both hands and draw the thread around the upper thread guide. Draw the thread down into the channel on the right side of the tension dial. Guide the thread around the bottom of the thread guide plate and pull it up to the thread take-up lever. Pass the thread into the slit of the take-up lever from the right to the left. Firmly draw the thread down into the eye of the take-up lever. Continue to draw the thread down along the left channel. Pass the thread behind the lower thread guide from the right, then slip the thread into the needle bar thread guide on the left. It's easy to thread the needle with the built-in needle threader. Raise the needle to the highest position and lower the presser foot. Pull down the threader knob 
and a hook will come out through the needle eye from behind. Pull the thread down around the thread guide and then pass it from left to right under the hook. Draw the thread up along the right side of the guide and slip the thread in between the guide and the holder plate. Raise the knob slowly and a loop of the thread is pulled up through the needle eye. Remove the thread end through the needle eye and pull the thread to the rear. Drawing up the bobbin thread. Raise the presser foot and turn the power switch on. Holding the end of the needle thread with your hand, press the up-down needle button twice. Pull the needle thread to pick up a loop of the bobbin thread. Draw four inches of each thread to the rear under the presser foot. Detaching and attaching the presser foot. Raise the needle to the highest position and turn the power switch off. Raise the presser foot by pushing up the presser foot lifter. Press the lever on the back of the foot holder. The presser foot will drop. Place the desired foot under the foot holder so the pin on the foot lies right under the groove on the foot holder. Lower the presser foot lifter to lock the foot in place. Thread tension. Set the tension control dial at four for general sewing. However, you should adjust the tension manually when selecting a specific stitch pattern such as a shell tucking, for example. Turn the dial to a higher number to increase the tension. To decrease the tension, turn it to a lower number. Adjusting the foot pressure. Depending on the sewing conditions, the foot pressure can be adjusted. For medium to heavyweight fabrics, Set the foot pressure dial at 6. Reduce the pressure for appliques and sewing fine fabrics. The dial has six setting positions between 1 and 6, so you can fine-tune the foot pressure according to various sewing conditions. This feature is extremely helpful when making patchwork quilts. Dropping the feed dog. The feed dog can be lowered with the drop feed lever located on the back of the free arm. Shift the lever to the right to drop the feed dog. Shift the lever to the left to raise the feed dog, and it will return to the up position when turning the hand wheel. Selecting Patterns there are 120 stitch patterns, including seven styles of buttonholes available. These patterns are classified into three groups. Mode 1 for 10 basic stitches. Mode 2 for utility stitches. And Mode 3 for decorative stitches. Furthermore, Gothic style letters and numbers are available in modes 4 to 6. For your convenience, a detachable quick reference chart is provided to identify the patterns at a glance. Insert the pin of the reference chart into the hole in the machine and set the chart board at the desired angle. The board can be retracted or detached for storing. Press the mode key to select the desired mode and the LCD screen will display the head pattern of the selected group. To select the patterns in Mode 1, simply press the desired pattern key. To select the patterns in the other modes, enter a two-digit pattern number from the keypad. The LCD screen will display the pattern number and stitch image, along with preset stitch width, stitch length, 
and recommended foot to use. Altering stitch length and width. This machine is programmed to optimize the stitch length and width for the selected pattern, but you can adjust them to suit your specific sewing needs. To alter the stitch length, press the plus or minus key of the stitch length key. To alter the stitch width, press the plus or minus sign of the stitch width key. For straight stitches, you can move the needle drop position by pressing the stitch width key. There are seven styles of buttonholes in Mode 2. You can choose the appropriate buttonhole for your garment. The machine will sew a proper size buttonhole automatically in a single step. Place a button on the back of the automatic buttonhole foot and push back the holder to hold the button. The buttonhole length is determined automatically. Attach the buttonhole foot. And place the fabric under the foot. Lower the presser foot. And pull down the buttonhole lever as far as it will go. Start the machine. The machine will stop automatically when the buttonhole is complete. Programming a pattern combination. Any of the stitch patterns, except for those in Mode 1 and Pattern 21 to 30 in Mode 2, can be programmed to create a pattern combination. Up to 50 patterns can be memorized. Select the desired pattern and press the memory key to memorize it, and then select the next patterns to memorize. You can program the pattern in a mirror image by pressing the mirror image key. Programming letters and numbers. Select Mode 4 and enter the pattern number of a desired character. Press the memory key to memorize the character. Up to 50 characters can be memorized. European letters and Russian letters are available in Mode 5 and 6, respectively. Let's try to program Deppe. Press the Mode key and select Mode 4. Enter 14 for uppercase D and press the memory key to memorize. Enter 41 for lowercase e and press the memory key. Enter 52 for lowercase p and press the memory key. Press the memory key again to memorize another p in lowercase. Press the mode key to select mode 5. Enter 51 for lowercase e with an acute accent and press the memory key. Now you are ready to sew Deppe. To delete a character, press the left side of the cursor key to shift a cursor to the left, or press the right side to shift the cursor to the right. Press the clear key, and the character above the cursor will be deleted. To insert a character, Press the cursor key to shift the cursor under the character next to the place where you wish to insert the character. Enter the character and press the memory key. The new character will be inserted before the cursor. Never use benzene or other chemical solvents for cleaning the machine body. Wipe the machine body using a soft cloth soaked in warm water with neutral detergent. Regular maintenance will ensure that you